Hi, guys. Happy weekend. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Okay, for those of you that, uh, first of all, referenced about part two of Friday's video, thank you very much. I can't even tell you what a pain in the butt that was to upload. I must have tried it eight times, and it clearly was not meant to be loaded, and now I know why, okay? But I didn't at the time, clearly, or I wouldn't have wasted that much time. However, um, it did bother me still, so that part still really does stick because there was just something missing from the original video, and here it is. It's playing out, okay? For, I just want to say before someone has a heart attack here, that death card and the sun card, that's a positive, and I'll tell you why, okay? I also threw some dice on this, and that comes uh, into play also. It's something very soon, but I think behind the scenes there, why you weren't supposed to really hear part two of that yesterday's Friday video is because you were supposed to get this on your own, be it whatever part you are. I think this is relationship related. So first I'm going to go through that, but I'm going to also go through how this can play out career wise. And it can, it can play out in any way that you want. It can be a move. It can be, uh, it can be a change of a job. It can be a new idea that you want to run with. It can be anything, but the main takeaway here is that I think for some of you, let me hit the relationship, the one-on-ones first, okay? First of all, we come in with the energy of the King of Wands. He is a walk the walk. Not much is going to get him down. He's very resilient, like the Queen of Wands, right? It doesn't need to be uh, a fire sign. They don't even need to be male, female. They're just their energies. That's how I pick up. That's what I read is energy, right? Really strong energy can be a very strong feminine energy, but, but the King of Wands is a strong energy, period, right? So we all have that in us. Certain times in our life, right, where we think we're the meekest person in the world, when we're fighting for something, that's when that will come out, or that's when the King of Swords will come out. So we have all of these elements within us. It's just what's going to push the button to bring that one out at the moment, right? So there we go. Now, we come in with that energy of the King of Wands. Our main focal here, and again, don't ask me why I decided to do this throw today. In all honesty, I didn't even know I did it until I looked down and saw how many cards I had just, it was a really phenomenal bizarre throw so so it all plays together this is exactly what happens when you just release and you just go right now in the past which would have been a year six months we've got the death card okay our main focal here what it, it's really all about we've got the sun card crossed by the page of swords okay our anchor here is the six of swords uh, our most desirable outcome here is the Ace of Swords, okay? What's coming up for us within the next six months to a year, but I think it's sitting right here personally, okay? Um, we've got the Ace of Coins, okay? So now we've got two Aces here, okay? And we've got Clarity. I feel that that is why yesterday's Part 2 didn't come out. You need to either figure this out from yourself, for yourself, or the other person involved, I feel comes to you and you're shocked, right? Now, how you see yourself here, your self-image is the king of cups, okay? Again, not gender specific, very receptive energy. The king of wands is very, um, uh, um, how do I say, very, uh, you know, he's directing energy out. The king of cups is receptive, <clears throat> excuse me energy on the receptive side, okay? Now, the nine of swords here is your public image, your reputation. I think that you're just like, holy crap! It's not It's not a negative where it's more of a, oh my gosh, I cannot even believe this, right? For some of you, you're still at the stage where you're not hearing yet from the other person what I'm telling you, and that's the, that's the, I'm horrified. I'm crying because I'm hurt, and I'm you know, it, it's that, but I'm telling you what's coming. So wipe the tears and get up. Okay, now <clears throat> in your hopes and fears, which are the dreams you dare to dream, right? You've got the two of cups. Okay, now you're outbound. We've got the eight of swords, the six, I'm sorry, the eight of wands, the six 
of Wands and the Knight of Cups. All right. Here's my what I feel very strongly. And I threw dice too, guys, okay? What the dice cards come in at is, um, let me get them. Okay. Now, the white dice card is a two, right? That's saying very, very soon, okay? The red is uh, Pluto, okay? That's news, events, isolation, which you're probably doing to yourself in that nine of swords, but that's okay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fade away. Events change here very quickly. Okay, the black dice, we've got new starts, um, thoughts and ideas. Okay, that card, that dice needed to be rethrown via the blue dice, which says recast the black dice. I got very soon. So this is coming very, very soon. So if you're in that nine of swords, I'm telling you, get up, get get going, you know, do what you need to do. Pull yourself out of that state because I think what you did was you very, uh, you may have done something where you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I told that person how I really felt or whatever it does here. The death card and the sun card is, is happiness, right? It's, it's maybe you thought you'd never be in another relationship again. For some of you also, it's a relationship that you took some hard knocks on. You either, um, it, it could be a relationship too for some of you where it wasn't, you know, all relationships when they uh, grow and go a different direction don't need to go together, but it doesn't mean you need to hate the person. It can just be recognition that where we both are in our lives right now, we're good people, but we're just not good together. And when you end something like that amicably, you walk away with no karma, no residue. So things, new relationships come right in because you're not ending things with a shooting match or a, a, a you know, kind of what yesterday's was. You're not going rogue and just going to now do destructive things because what you're doing is you're not, you're being shown those things. Sometimes those relationships too come back together in time where people are in different places and different spaces. Sometimes it's just a matter of the timing being off. It could be something like that. But what I want to say here is, is the clarity that you were looking for in something you get here. Okay. And I think what it does is it propels you forward. All right. And I think you're receptive to hearing it. Now, what's coming up for you is that ace of coins. That's a seed, right? That's a start, but it's an opportunity, guys. You've got to take it. Okay. So if it's a new job that's somewhere else and you really want to do it, say you went for a raise or a promotion or something and you didn't get it. It, there's a very good reason for that, too, because a new one is sitting right in here. And I'm telling you, when we don't get something, it's the universe's way of blocking something and it's scooching you in the correct direction, which is what this is. Right now, that two of cups can be a new relationship. Right. It can be um, a first date. It can be, hey, I just brushed against someone. It's, it's the start of something. Right. That to me is more of the lover's card, like a real lover's card in here. Um, then the lover card. To me, that card is just, it's more business than pleasure. This is the start of something, okay? So we've got the sun card with that two of cups, the ace of coins. I'm telling you, you're getting what you want and you move forward here. That eight of wands on the outbound, the six of wands, and the knight of cups. You're riding high here or someone is coming in and they're, they're, they're just... Uh, really going to save the day here. So if I'm telling you, nothing goes negative in this throw, nothing, whatever end of the spectrum you're on, whether you're on a relationship that's on the outbound, it may turn around, whether you're dared to put yourself out there and you're like, oh crap, I can't believe I said that. It works out for you. This is what happens. Okay. Um, again, new starts very soon. I feel it's like very, very soon. And I think you hear something about it or you catch a wind of it, or, or something comes in here. But I think that it's great energy to have. If you just look at those two kings, again, it's, it's I hear you, and I'm listening, right? It's, it's I'm going to, this is a great throw. You get clarity on whatever you thought you didn't have it on. You know, there's a, maybe a retraction again, that Knight of Swords in here, or I'm sorry, with the Sun card and the page, the Jack of, of swords, I don't think that that's anything other than the clarity that you're getting here. And I think the sun comes out with that. That's what clarity is in that sun card. The sun card is the yes card. It's the, the 
uh, marriage card. It's fertility card. It's the joy card. It's, it's anything that you want sits in here. I think you had to learn a lesson here because I think that in a relationship, um, someone may have just dropped, tucked and rolled, right? Like just really was just devastated. And the other person just decided to, um, or maybe the opposite side of yourself. At first you, you, you know, it hit you like a rock and then you just got up and you, you brushed yourself off and that pulls in energy too. But I think that a tough conversation or something, you know, went on and I really think that it goes in a positive direction. I don't see any negatives here, guys. I think that nine of swords is the initial, uh, shock of something, right? But it comes around, it comes to a better place. I think you you either said something that you had held in for a bit and it came out and it's serving you well, right? Do the things that are always in alignment with yourself. And I'm telling you, these miracles happen. This is a miracle reading. It's a magic reading. It shows you what happens when you trust in something bigger than yourself. And that's what this is. I'm going to keep this video short. You're getting what you want. Okay. So whatever that is to you, it's here. All right. Or it's coming in very, very soon. Again, the timing on these placements are six months to a year, but I'm telling you, I feel it sitting right here. So I have to, to go with what I feel opposed to what the cards say. So again, it's right here. Whatever it is that you wanted, it's here. Okay. So there you go. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you with anything. Okay. Thank you so much.